For 2002 stands in an Xbox game, the graphics look really damn nice. Some of the textures in the game look pretty advanced for the time being. Yeah, I'm saying pretty advanced loosely because honestly, comparing it today, it's not the most amazing thing. But back then, this is pretty much some of the shit. And also, oh, I also forgot to mention one thing. Your partner's about as useful as sin. Basically, what I'm trying to say is, they're fucking pathetic. I forgot to mention, even though you do get some partners guaranteed, they are really, really not going to help you out much in battle. Problem why? Well, I'll tell you why. These fucking idiots, for some reason, just love to stand around and block opponents' attacks. This gets very annoying, even for later on levels, which your partners should really be able to help you by that point. But still, they are really pathetic. But like I said, the graphics, again, look very nice. Character animations are fluid and not inresponsive enough. And colorful looking. Some colorful models around here. And fighting. Like, but unfortunately, I have to say one thing I have to complain about combat, though. Once you actually know how to block and attack and all that stuff, you don't actually really need to... It's not that hard anymore. This is a repetitive idea, and honestly, it gets boring after a while. The two blades are most recommended for anybody new or to anyone who actually, to, or who actually played the game. The reason why is because this weapon is very powerful, especially when you have two of them. Once you have two of them, pretty much you can kick ass. And as you can see, I'm looking at it and fall. Now there is now that's a first person mode, but it's completely fucking useless. You cannot attack at all in this mode. For some reason they decide to add it, but there's no way in hell you can actually seem to use it in any way that can help. But like I s also, your weapons were for comp for um, range wise. <clears throat> As you saw there, that was terrible right there. I just shot him like five arrows and he did not die yet, even though Usually some um, helpers later on, which like, you know, basic soldiers that help you from like your kingdom. Well, yeah, your kingdom, I was going to say right now. Yeah, they can die like a couple hits, but yeah. And also, there are some of the um, weapon varieties, and there's also parts you actually use. Um, carefully plan out how you're going to work out. Well, I gotta work some stuff out. And this cannon right here, yeah, it is not really going to work out well. Right now, all I can say is that it pisses me off the fact these two cannon controls are pretty much fucking flawed. Yeah, they work out fine, but these honestly just suck. Aiming you go off really far, and so on. And also, you can't really just aim just like that. You actually have to, like... Fucking sh shoot. I may be going off a little bit like OMG, what the fuck you're doing? Uh, I'm gonna actually, I'm just explaining to you that there's the cannon there just sucks monkey fuck, as the ABGM would say. That cannon is so shitty because your aiming is can be off and you don't exactly know where you're gonna fire the cannon. Yes, you have infinite ammo, but think how bad it would be if you were atta being attacked. Hey, it's not as bad as Devil May Cry 3, though, and how the enemies do so much fucking damage, unbelievable. But anyway, let's go on to the sound. You hear sword sounds like a lot, so it actually feels like you are actually sword fighting. Instead of hearing the old regular shing, 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 and using some games, yeah, you may have heard a lot of that sling, 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 yeah, all that. But still, the sound can be very nice, the music's pretty... In, um, feels really chi Chinese-ish, so it's really nice there, too, music. So, now that I discussed about the story, gameplay, graphics, the sound, oh, and also another heads up, the voice acting, like I said before, if I did, is top, is pretty damn good. So, oh, and also, replayability. I only have to say this one thing about replayability. There is no replayability. Once you complete the game, that's it. Unfortunately, too, because this game is really fun. Well, anyway, let's go on to the final verdict. Alright, time to go on to the final verdict of the game. 
Now, overall, the game concept and storyline is really in-depth and interesting. But I want to say, that gets a nice solid point there. Combat, it's alright, I will admit, it's not the greatest, but it's kind of too simple and, and easy. But, eh, it gets a point five for at least that. Sound is really nice, I like the music, the sound feels very fluid, it's really nice, I like it all. Graphics very, are very impressive for 2002 standards. Even though it's seven years, that was seven years ago, it still is pretty impressive, even though by today's standards. Well, for some people who actually understand some old games. Entertainment, though, it's fun the first time around. But afterwards, it gets really boring. And, not really boring afterwards, but I'm just saying, after you beat the game, not much to do. But, um, overall, the game is very good. I like New Legends. New Legends is a very great must-buy game for an Xbox collector gamer in general. And New Legends gets a 4 out of 5. This is SJ's great, great Xbox game review. Stay tuned for more. SJ, signing out.